children. Go ahead. How many thousands of Jews? Thousands of who? Jews. Of who? Jews. Of who? Jews. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Which what? Which believe? They hear this truth. They come out of the mindset they in, and they believe in the Lord again. They do what they do. They change their life. They stop killing each other and stop loving each other and start hating the ones that hurt each other. Student with priest and captain of Kada Mariah, man. Get the most out of that clap, man. You understand? Listen, let me tell you something. You see all the things going on the earth, man. All the evil happening on the earth, and it's supposed to happen. Times will get a whole lot worse. That's why the Bible says this, brother. Give me this scripture real fast. Give me Zephaniah, I believe it's two and one, which says coming you together. And then give me the Ephesians, the fourth chapter, verses four and five. Because there's a certain way for us to come together. You got Black Lives Matter. Some kind of organization trying to uplift black people, trying to say that we matter some kind of way. You know, we said the same thing doing slavery. You understand? Had coins and things minted back during that time to prove our manhood. Now it's time to come together, yes, but to come together the way the Lord said for us to come together. The Bible says, gather ye together, yes. And how do we do that? By knowing who you are, man. Every black, Hispanic, native Indian, find out you a Hebrew Israelite. You are the children of the Lord, man. And then once you find it out, it ain't enough to know you in this life. That's not enough, man. You got to be taught by the men, the priests and prophets of the Lord, who the Lord sent on this earth to teach you the correct way, man. A lot of cats out here faking the funk. A lot of Christian Israelites out here, man. But there is none such in the Israelite school of UPK, man. It started with us. It's going to end with us. I'm going to give you the Lord's word now on this one here. Give me that. Right? Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Read. Gather yourselves together. Say it again. Gather yourselves together. Go ahead. Yeah. Gather together. Oh, nation not desired. You black and spank in a minute. You the nation is not desired. You the one that's least desired on earth. You see what's going on with us. In one hand, they give us money, play sports, or entertain us. On the other hand, we live in poor and degraded, first fire, last hide in the ghettos. And now, we get to shoot down in the street. I ain't gonna say nothing because it's been going on. Today, we gonna say how Esau been doing this to us, man. And how from the insistence from the womb, they've been our enemy. We go on all that today, man. So no doubt in your mind who you dealing with. And we're gonna show you how your so-called leaders failed in the job. But I tell you the truth according to the Lord. Every so-called leader get an F in dealing with us, man. And all need to step down from their position and hand it over to Commander Judy Hahn for the Lord take it from them, man. Read. Before the decree bring forth. Before the decree bring forth. Man, what decree? Before your harvest shall come back here the second time and destroy the earth. Now, with that being said, Akai, drop that. Go to the book of Ephesians, the fourth chapter. Huh? Oh, okay. Ephesians, the fourth chapter, verses four and five. Now, you going somebody say, well, how are we supposed to come together? Are we coming together with everybody believing in different philosophies and doctrines? No. The Bible does not say that, man. And it's heavy to bring it forth in the New Testament. You understand? Four and four. Yeah, start there. Then go to verse five, brother. So Read. Ephesians chapter four, verse four. There is one body. Say it again. There is one body. If you wise, you listening, man. Ain't many different bodies out here. Ain't many different ways of coming together. One body. That one body has always been UPK, man. Nobody was hit the street before us. Nobody out there teaching this truth according to the Lord before us. One body. Go ahead. And one spirit. And one spirit, man. One spirit of the Lord out there. All these fake, phony cats out here, these Christian light, Christian light. I call them Christian lights, man. Like that drink, uh, Crystal Light. No. You Christian lights, man. Go ahead. Even as ye are called. In one hope of your calling. I mean, there's only one hope, man. And how are we called? 
to the Lord. And that's through the ISUPK. All these fake phonies out here, man. Every last one got their start from the ISUPK. I hate teaching on the street. Nutrition moves back to it. Go ahead. Verse 5. Mm -hmm. One Lord. One what? One Lord. There's one Lord over us, man. Yahweh Shai. And his father, Yahweh, in the Hebrew. You kept the head saying, I am that I am. Yehoshua, Yahweh, Elohim. Are you serious, man? Are you serious? Some cats out of super ignorance trying to say the most our name is Abba. And Yahweh's name is Yahweh. Are you serious? One hope, one calling, man. We need to get for the top, huh? There's one body. One body. That's I to PK. Go ahead. And one spirit. One spirit in here, man. That's the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of war. The Lord is raising warriors in this school, man. And brothers who gonna stand for the truth unto death. The Bible says to strive for the truth unto death. This knowledge you learned in the ISUPK, you are supposed to keep it until the day you die. No one said nothing about changing nothing. Keep it. Keep it close to you and fight for it. Strive, man. Strive as you fighting. You're going at it until the day you die. Go ahead. Even as ye are called mm -hmm. in one hope of and, your calling. In one hope of the calling, man. Now, with that being said, we're going to drop that. Let's get into the topic, y'all. I'm going to play again. They're shooting at that brother Chicago. And this time, we got the audio to go along with it, man. To show you how horrific that was. You understand? To show you the evil of what happened to us, man. And let me tell you something. All you so-called leaders out there, you false pastors, you false imams, whether you are a so-called religious leader in Christianity and Islam and Hinduism, Buddhism, that's affecting black people, you so-called political leaders, this shoot right here is your fault. That young brother's blood lay at your hands. You understand that? And God gonna be quiet from you, man. He gonna be quiet from you. All this go back to that traitor, Martin Luther King, who stated before he died that he feared he joined his people into a burning house. This is the result of that. This is the result of loving white people. This is the result of it, man. Young brother's dying in the streets like the way it is, man. There's no audio. Uh, Here we go. Play it. This is play the audio. Go ahead, get down, huh? Let's look at this travesty, man. All right, no sweat. I want the one with the audio out. If you can go to, if you can go to, um, whew, maybe your way. You got the and, uh, your email. They got me uh, signed on to the YouTube for what's the name? So change. Go on YouTube. Listen on YouTube. It's gonna change. I'm gonna find it for you. So okay. Well, you know what? You want it for my phone? Let me plug my phone up into it. But that work? I can hear it. Can they hear it on there? Can they see it? No, they can't see it. They can't see it. I want them to see I'm this here. I'm gonna find it for you. Sir. Let me. I want to, if you type in YouTube, um, the audio version of the police shootings is right there. It's gonna come right on up. But I want to play this here, man. And this got to be shown. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. At the second, right? No, no. Go down. Go down. Let me see. Nope. Go down. Go down. Hold on. Hold, stop. Stop. Go down. Go down. Don't tell me them suckers trying to take it off the air. Go down. Nah. Go down. This one on the oh. Top. No. It's, it's, the one I'm looking for is like 35 seconds. That's it right there. 36. That's it right there. Yep. That's it right there. That's it. I'm taking you right to it. Showing you the evil that was going on, man. You understand? Now look at that brother walking. Now he's walking away from the police. Now what happened to the taser guns? And all that stuff. What happened to the taser gun? You see, almost every cop in America walk around with taser guns, though. He don't got one. Nobody with him got a taser gun. Huh? Go ahead. <laughs> Stop. Whoa. You see them shots, right? See how them shots twirled that brother around? 
Now that should have been enough right there. You understand? You want to rewind it? Man, rewind it, man. I can't take too much of it. I looked at it. And every time I looked at it, I got madder and madder and madder, man. And more and more upset. Play. Ah, oh. Now, that should have been it. While the young man falling to the ground, that should be it. You understand? That should be it. Should be no more shots. He he done. It should be over right now. And this is why the white man is such a beast, a horrible monster, man. And he gonna deserve the punishment that's coming from the Lord. And you so-called black people that's doing this with them, you deserve the punishment right along with the white man for doing this with this damn monster, man. You understand? This evil on all kind of levels, man. Everybody knows it's murder. And guess what? For a year, they tried to hide it. His bosses tried to hide it. Everybody did what they could to keep this from getting out. Because it's straight up murder. Straight murder. Say some more. Stop, stop. He laying on the ground. Now he had a knife. He already been shot, but he laying where he can't move. The body moves once he's been shot. It moves around some. He can't, he's not gonna get up and throw the knife at you. Not like it was a gun, he had a knife. So what's the point of keep shooting that man while he's on the ground? What's the point? Esau is being who he's supposed to be, man. You understand? They can't see the video? They see the video, they can't see you, they hear you. Oh, that's fine, that's good, that's good. I want them to see that video, man. And look at the horror that's going on, man. You understand that? We in the last days of time. This is the beginning of the start of the race what's going on. And let me say you something. For anybody who's afraid for their kids, I saw this, and a moment of fear kind of hit me where I was afraid for my children. But then I remembered what the Bible says in the book, in the book of Ezra. Well, our children are not going to see hell and destruction when you come into the knowledge of the truth, man. You come ahead and fight for this nation and strive for the truth of the death, this won't happen to your kids, man. And it's our leader's fault for doing us into this beast called the white man. Play it again from the top. I didn't want the scriptures. I'm going to let it play on through. I ain't going to say nothing. He's not trying to say nothing. Now, let me say something to you, man. Give me Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, verse four. Give me Ezekiel nine and four. This death of this young brother, man, even though it happened a year ago, just seeing his footage made it feel like it happened now. And it restirred some things up inside of me. And a more of a zeal of pushing this lot of the truth all over the earth. I'm gonna tell you why. Ezekiel 9 and 4. Go ahead. Ezekiel 9 and 4. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto him, Go ahead. Go through the midst of the city. Go ahead. Through the midst of the Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry. What's that mark he said on your forehead? Nod to this truth, man. You understand that? Knowing you're a Hebrew Israelite. You part of these 12 tribes, black, Hispanic, Native Indians. You understand that? That's the mark. Teaching this truth across the earth once you get ordained to do so. I didn't say ordained is a bad word, but once you get, uh, once you get proven of someone you worthy this knowledge to teach this truth, man, and get up here the right way and learn and get taught the correct way, and then go out here and teach, man, read it again from the top. 
And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, mm -hmm. through the midst of Jerusalem, Go ahead. and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations. For all the what? The abominations. All the evil things, man, that sigh and cry. Do you understand? You got brothers and sisters out here. We got to teach this out of the truth to you so this don't happen to you, man. You understand? It keeps happening over and over again. First you had, listen, before Mike Brown, it started back in the 60s, man. But they shot everybody up then. Bring up the days there where everybody say, well, racism is dead and over with, God. Ain't nobody racist no more. Then you had Mike Brown. Done now with no weapon. Then the brother in South Carolina. You understand? Now, you got this young brother right here in Chicago. And the way we talk about the Black Lives Matter, we gonna do it your way and join hand in hand with our enemy? When you did that, and the same man you joined with shot at y'all while y'all had your peaceful protests. We gonna talk about that as well, man. You understand that? And it's your leader's fault. That sigh and that cry Go ahead. That be done in the midst thereof. That be done in the midst thereof. All the evil things going on amongst us, man. You ain't sad or crying about this? Trying to join us back together with the Father? Then you not in the truth. It's more than just finding out you a Hebrew is like, it's way more than that. You understand? That's way more than that, man. All the battling you're gonna do, the governments you're gonna come up against. Do you understand? With that being said, give me Ecclesiastes, the seventh chapter, verse 13. Now, for all the so called leaders of our people who believe that we can join ourselves to the so called white man. How is that possible when he's showing you every day, all the time, how he don't want to be around you? How he don't want you in their neighborhoods? How he feel about you? You understand that? Read. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 13. Go ahead. Consider the work of the Most High. Consider the thing that the Lord did in the earth, man. The Lord made it this way. He chose one vessel for honor and one for dishonor. The Lord made it this way. So if the Lord made it this way, go ahead and read. For who can make that straight which he has made crooked? The Lord made Israel to be an honorable vessel. The Lord made Esau to be a dishonorable vessel. Now, who the hell are you to try to change that? Who are you to say, well, now nah, this, this is our friend? We join hand in hand with him. Who are you? Like, y'all the ones that lead us astray, man. We're going to get the scriptures on this well. Y'all the ones lead us to a path that's a path for death and destruction. Well, we don't follow your way. Since we've been in America, and all we know is death and murder amongst us. Time for a change, man. Time for a change. And that change you see, whenever you look at those street corners across America, you see them brothers in black beard, with beards, with braids, with boots, with the King James Version Bible in their hand, they say ISUPK and teaching, that's the change. We the new government for black people. You can laugh and play it if you want to. Watch and see what the Lord wants to do on this earth, man. You watch and see. Because the leaders got an F, y'all fail. Now give me Romans 9. Romans 9, verse 20 and 21. Give me that one. Romans, the ninth chapter, verses 20 and 21, man. You understand? Because you can't change things the Lord said was made crooked. The Lord said it this way. He got one vessel for honor. That's us. Even though we ain't doing it, except for the ICPK. And our school, you got honorable men. You understand that? Men who gave up their whole lives to this truth. To follow the right and strict, correct way, man. But no excuses for the truth. The vessel with the sign is Esau, man. Who lie all the time. 
ask our brothers the Native Indians. Every treaty they so-called made with Native Indians, they broke every word of that, man. Just on this one topic alone with a young brother. Let me read the scripture, man. Nine. Woke me, Romans 9, verse 20 and 21. Come on, come. Romans chapter 9, verse 20. Mm -hmm. Nay, but, oh man, who art thou that repliest against God? Now see, this is what you can't out here that's Christians, man. And Christian Israelites who say, the white man ain't the devil. The white man is this, the white man is that. Don't hate the so-called white man. You can have sex with a white woman. It's for you. Who are you? Read it again for the top, Pop. Nay, but, oh man, mm -hmm. who art thou? Who that are you to say he our brother? Who are you to say to join him? Who are you? The most I'm asking your question. Go ahead. That replies against God. You said it against the word of the Lord, man. What we say come out the Bible. What we teach come out the Bible. Handed down from the men who started the Israelite school EPK, down to Commander General Yohanna, down to us, down to you. Who are you to go against what the word of the Lord say, man? Read. Shall the thing form. Shall the thing form. The most I formed us. He created us. So how do we go against what his word say? Read. Say to him that formed it. Go ahead. Why hast thou made me thus? See that? Why are you gonna say why you made me this way? So you're gonna question what the Lord got set up in the earth, huh? Are you somebody special? You go against the word of the Lord, huh? I hear you. I know why you're doing it. One is fear, two is money. That Stockholm syndrome wanna be accepted by your oppressor. Read. Have not the power, power over the clay. The most high is the potter. We the clay. He got power over us. Go ahead. Of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor. One unto honor. Who's the one that's honorable in the Bible, man? Black man. It's magnet of Indian. You are the priest of props of the Lord, man. Come back and take your heritage. Learn who you truly are, man. Get in our classes and learn the right way, man. And learn not to be a hypocrite. But it stands staunch and it stands strong for knowledge of the truth. Learn how to be a man who can stand for the word of the Lord and not neglect no daggone white boy or white girl but a knowledge of the truth. Go ahead. And another unto this arm. Unto what? This arm. That's Esau, the so-called white man. He is dishonorable. He is dishonorable because he lie about everything. He ain't dishonorable because of the color of his skin. That man has crime that he has committed on the earth. Atrocity. He has committed on the earth, man. And he got to pay for it. The same spirit that was in Cain is the same spirit that's in the so-called white man today. And it's always been in that bag on white man. And he gonna answer for it. Because when the Yahweh return, war will come into the so-called white man. And that's every race. I have to do this little warm up. This is to bring Armageddon for like the Bible says. World War III. But the culmination is gonna come with the Hobson return. You understand that? We're gonna get the Bible and the scripture to say that as well. That this land here called America is gonna be a wasteland. Bitter, bitter destruction coming. You think you can go ahead and kill us without no repercussion? The Lord bringing death to your doorstop, man. It's coming from the Lord, from Christ, and 200 million black angels. Keep on reading. Let me know. Read at the end. What if the Most High wanted to show His wrath? All right, you can stop right there. Now, let me say this to you, man. This is why they think they can get away with it. Give me Jeremiah fifty-one and seven. Just the reason why that they believe that they can get away with all the things they're doing to us. That's the reason why. You understand that? That's the reason why. Because we ain't doing the things that the most high power, the high the Hebrew would say do. You understand that? They know it. The ones in power, they got the records of who you are. The ones in power know to be part of them 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. And they feed us all the things 
to go against our Lord and Savior, man. The Bible says in high places, man, we cast down these things. Go ahead, read. Right. Jeremiah 51 and 7. Come on, come. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 7. Come on. Babylon has been a golden cup. No, that's 50. It's a lot, sir. Give me 51. That's 51, verse 7. Come on, come. That's verse 7. Give me 50 and 7 then. Come on, come. Come on, come. Jeremiah 50 and 7. Mm -hmm. All that found them have devoured them. You understand that? When you brought us over here, them slave ships, man, for our evil, you devoured us. Man, you went over and beyond on what was supposed to be done to us. You devouring us. And you know how else you devouring us, man? With the drug programs you got going along amongst us. All the dope you push in our communities, man. All the guns you push inside our communities, man. All the evil things and laws you're making against us. You are devouring us, man. You understand that? You are devouring us. Go ahead. And their adversary mm -hmm. say, we offend not. He said, we ain't do nothing wrong. He had a knife in his hand. He ain't nothing but a thug. He this and he that. Nah, man. You understand that? They saying these things. They saying, we don't offend nobody. Look at what he was doing. Go ahead. And their adversary said, we offend not. Go ahead. Because they have sinned against the Lord. They have done what, brother? Sinned against the Lord. They know that we are not doing the things the Lord set for us to do. You understand that? They know we are people who follow after our lust and our own intense desires, man. And not after what the Lord said. They know this, man. That's why they feeding us certain things. What you see on TV is a direct plot against us. To feed our carnality. And our leaders, the church, the imams, the political leaders, all of them are set up to further push that same vibe to us that keep us lost away from the Most High. You understand it? Thanks be the Most High Christ for commanding your honor, and the eyes should be kept. Because we brothers in here are the ones who are standing strong for the Lord and for this truth, man. You understand that? We in here going to strive for the truth unto death. All right, listen, I'm going to take a quick break. Play a song or two, and now we're going to come back talking about the whole Black Lives Matter issue. You understand that? Now, you up there hollering about a peaceful protest when Esau came there and shot him up. So, to further that thought into the album, I give y'all burn because if y'all hurt like I'm hurt sometimes, I know this how y'all feel. When y'all see banks get bailed out and people get put out, let's play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They also produce Rick Flair. Yeah. It'll never be war if they love poor people like poor people love rich people. Instead of worrying about voting Barack Obama in office, why don't we have a vote on making the black woman cover her black ass up? If the government loved poor people like they love rich people, we wouldn't have no homeless people in the United States of America. So if you ever felt like this... Not because you give a damn about what your daughter is. You cursing me out because you don't want a black man to be strong and tell you to shut your damn mouth. That's what you don't want. You don't want a black man to tell you that you black women gonna stop being nasty whores in America. It's been it seems a nigga can't get a job, but I can't get arrested. Thought shit was changing with this black president. My bitch got me fucked up. Yahoo, I'm going to get tested because while I was locked up, she was fucking wrecked. Just another ordeal, a real nigga got to deal with. If you on the bottom right now, you got to feel. I'm not letting nobody sell you drugs without me saying that. I'm not going to do it. Just like that's your boy, guess what? 
know you. I'm your boy. That's, that's, that's right. right. Even that's though right. I don't know you, I'm not letting nobody sell you crack. You know why? Because I never saw you before. But you a black man like me. That's, that's right. right. And it's worth something. I will burn this mother fucker down. Killers, I got all kind of drug dealers, killers, all up in, in, in his life school, UPK, that have changed their life. The point is they changed their life. Well, the problem in the Christian church is they're not changing their life, minister. You are allowing them and giving them a forum to spread their homosexuality and empowering them in your choirs to promote homosexuality. That is the difference. It's not that homosexuality is being singled out as a worse sin than any other sin. Sin is sin. But the problem is there's a culture in the Christian church and the Muslim mosque right. that is being allowed to proliferate yeah. that is destroying us and we had better address it. This mother fucker down. I will burn this mother fucker down. Join the most controversial leader for blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, Commander General Yohanna, from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. on our website, www.isubk.com, or you can call in at 215-586-4851 as Commander General Yohanna blazes the airways with pure fire, nothing but the truth, with no artificial flavor added. More. Touching on the holy scriptures and the most controversial current affair. Commander General Yohanna from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. on our website www.isubk.com or you can call in at 215-586-4851 as Commander General Yohanna blazes the airways with pure fire. Nothing but the truth with no artificial flavor added. More. Touching on the holy scriptures and the most controversial current affairs. Shalom. Big up to Judas 720. Shalom Priest, what's going on? Who else out there? Holler back at your boy Monday night. Y'all know what we do. Alright? Okay, big up to HGL 112. Big out of Shot Town. Once again, I'm Priest and General Hazian live in the studio with Priest and Captain Akad Abaya, man. Because we back on live, y'all. Now, we're going to talk about Black Lives Matter. This so-called movement trying once again to prove to the earth that our livelihood matters. How long are we going to keep doing this, man? And how long are we going to keep doing the white men into their art scenarios? Now, we got an article. It happened in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So where they protested the death, once again, of an unarmed black man at the hands of Esau. Now, with that being said, let's read the article, brother, and let's see what it says. Go ahead. Five people shot at Minneapolis Black Lives Matter protests. Mm -hmm. Five people were shot Monday night during a Black Lives Matter protest outside a Minneapolis police precinct over the fatal shooting of a black man, authorities said. Now, let me say this to you. Now, hold on. These so-called leaders, leaders of ours tell us to put our trust in America. Put our trust in this government. Now they're in front of a police precinct. 
where it's supposed to be safe. Right? Right, right or wrong. Right. The job of the cops supposedly is to make you safe. Right from danger and harm, even if you want to harm yourself, their job is still to keep you safe. You saw that was a lie with Eric Garner, Michael Brown, the brother of South Carolina, the brother of that we just showed you in Chicago. We saw that's a lie. I mean, when are we going to learn to stop following what our leaders say, man, and follow what the most out of the Lord say, man? Keep on reading. It's unclear who fired the shots. And police have named no suspects, but protesters blame a trio of alleged white supremacists wearing bulletproof vests. Good. Black Lives Matter rep Misky Knorr told the Star Tribune shots rang out after protesters tried to usher the supremacists away. Black King, Black Kentucky judge, is right in tossing out all white jury. One of the gunmen was wearing a mask and shouting the N-word. Sorry, the what word? The N-word. Calling you the calling you niggas. <laughs> calling you niggas. Go ahead. Nor said the Black Lives Matter Minneapolis chapter called the shouting, the shooting white supremacist terrorists. Now let me tell you something. Lead up to the day, they got they caught them. They got four names. And they are right. They all are tied to white supremacist groups, man. Now, let me tell you something. This is the problem. This is what you better watch out for. This was right under the nose of a police precinct. I ain't saying you blocks away. You ain't in a different neighborhood. You right under the cops' nose where they have a headquarters at. And they had the audacity to shoot you right in front of the cops. You understand? You see the problem. You see what happened to you without the most high in your life? You follow these so-called black leaders and Black Lives Matter's garbage, and we still getting shot right in front of the cops. Keep on reading. Um, hold on. That was it. All right, now give me Proverbs 11 verse 21. Let's give it the most I say. Now you gonna follow these so-called black leaders of yours? Matter of fact, before we go there, stop a card. I think we got a clip. Now, I know Commander Junior Hunter played this clip once before on his show, but I want to play it again to show you the error in our ways, man. And the error or how you're going to get confounded against these other nations if you ain't down the Lord. Let's get it. The Black Lives Matter when they spoke to Hillary Clinton. You understand that? And see how they got stumbled on their words. She shamed that brother on that show, man. Shame him. Now, let's get it. That's all right. Let's take it off mute. Let's play it again. Man. You understand? See how this brother got shamed. And listen, he talking to Hillary Clinton with his hand. And he begging her. Like he begging her, please, please, please. Are you serious? I stand here in your space, and I say this as respectfully as I can, but if you don't tell black people what we need to do, then we won't tell you all what you need to do. I'm not telling you. I'm just telling you to what tell I, me. What I mean to say yeah. is that this is and has always been a white problem of violence. It's not, it's, it's, there's not much that we can do to stop the violence against us. Well, it, it that is the conversation. The, okay, back. I understand. And I understand what you're saying. Also respectfully, yeah. respectfully. Well, respectfully, if that is your position, then I will talk only to white people about how we are going to deal with a very I mean. real That's problem. Not what I mean. That's not what I mean. No. But like what I'm saying is you, you, what you just said was a form of victim blaming. Right? You were saying that what the Black Lives Matter movement needs yeah. to do to change white hearts is- No, I'm not talking about, I, look, I don't believe you change hearts. I believe you change laws, you change allocation of resources, you change the way systems operate. You're not going to change every heart. You're not. But at the end of the day, we can do a whole lot to change some hearts and change some systems and create more opportunities for people who deserve to have them to live up to their own God-given potential, to live safely 
without fear of violence in their own communities. They have a decent Whoa. school, they have a decent Whoa. house. Have oh, now, did you see what, he, what was going on here? Like, that's your leader. Like, your leader is begging Esau to respect them. And now you see why the protest got shut up. While the white man didn't respect us enough to say, well, you know what? You know, we might want to shoot them right here in front of the cops anyway. You understand? And let's not do it. They had this, they didn't care. Why should they care? You begging for mercy. <laughs> you begging Esau to go ahead and cut. I, I, I'm 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 through with it, man. I don't even want to show them more, man. Like we could play the rest of the clip, but it's like it's I mean, enough is enough. Like you begging Esau to be accepted and have rights. That ain't how you do it, man. You don't go to Esau and beg Esau, man. You and he, this brother got on national television and embarrassed himself in the whole Black Rights Matter movement. That's what he did. Now. Kyle, you gonna say something like that? Cause what it is is he was intimidated by that white. Say it dog. again. He was intimidated by that white dog. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. And she saw it and she played on it. You understand that, man? She saw it and she played on it. Now those are the ones who you went back to you. You understand that? Those are the ones who you were protecting you. When the gunshots start bringing out on the dag on the neighbors, they come to kill us. Come on, Esau, come to kill us. They're the ones who were protecting you. That's what we got. The white man got his military, got his police force. Ab's got all them different ISIS, all the cats ready to fight and kill. You got him begging Esau to tell us what to do. You hear what he said, right? If you don't tell us what to do, you heard what he said, right? That is a travesty, man. How embarrassing is that? Now, give me Proverbs 11, verse 21. He, he <laughs> a guy, he begged and said, you know what? If you don't tell us what to do. So now, Black Lives Matter. You know what that's about? It's still about Jordan and Esau being down with Esau. Jordan hand in hand with Esau. Read the scripture out. Proverbs 11, verse 21. Mm -hmm. Though hand join in hand. Say it again. Though hand join in hand. Even though you want to join hand with the so-called white man and be down with him. Go ahead. The wicked the shall. The what? The wicked. The who? The wicked. Even though you want to join with hands with him, the wicked. Go ahead. Shall not go unpunished. It don't matter if you want to join hands with this man, man. The punishment still coming to him. Let him have his punishment, man. What should have been said, we got to separate from you devils. To get away from you. You understand that? That now it's time to be separate from you. And stop trying to join you. That's what should have been said to her. Any more on that? Come on, cut. Read. But the seed of the righteous. The seed of the who? The righteous. Go ahead. Shall be delivered. Shall be delivered. Let me tell you something, man. Once again, it's more than just knowing you're a Hebrew Israelite. It's more than knowing you're part of the 12 tribes. That's part of it, yes. But it's more than that. To be counted for the seed of the righteous, you got to do something. That means do what the Lord say do. That's what that means. Follow his law, statutes, and commandments, man. Come ahead and get taught, taught properly on how to follow the most high and do what he say do. It's more than just knowing you're an Israelite. It's more than that. But it's also you coming to here now and doing what the Lord said do and being taught how to do it the right way. The right way. Now give me Job. Give me the book of Job, the 20th chapter. Verses uh, 10 to 11. You understand? Job 20, 10 to 11. You understand? Okay. Now, some of Esau see this. Some of them see it. And know they got a penalty coming for what they did. So now this is what they're going to try to do. Go ahead. Job, chapter 20, verse 10. That's why she said she ain't going to change all hearts. She know everybody ain't trying to hate that garbage about black people. They can give a damn about black people. Neither can she. Go ahead. 
his children. And she only said that, said that for votes. You know that, right? So she's trying to get the black vote. That's why she said what she said. They really can give a damn about us, man. They see how they just don't care, so why should they? Go ahead, God. So like I said, if I could, not to mention those Black Lives Matters chapters have uh, uh have a lot of homosexuals in there, lesbians, transsexuals. Yep. Like we ain't like they look at the Black Lives Matter as a, a group of kids that don't need to be respected. Like yep. a man that making demands, you making yep. demands as a transsexual man mm -hmm. on, on on black issues. Like they not gonna respect us, man. That's right. Job 20, verse, verse 10. Then be verse 11. Go ahead. His children shall seek to please the poor. See that? Esau now, he, he done got everything he wanted. Now his kids going to try to seek to please the poor. They're going to try it. That's why she made the comment, well, I can't change everybody. Some going to want to seek to please us. Some. She know that. Go ahead. And his hands shall restore their good. Meaning they're going to give back some things. That's why you got them ball players making all that money. They trying to do certain things to make us feel good. They trying to restore the good. They ain't really doing it. They trying to do it. Just enough to keep us quiet, so to speak. Go ahead. His bones are full of sin. His what? His bones are full of the sin of his youth. Say that again. His bones are full of the sin of his youth. What's the youth of somebody? That country here called America. The building of this country, man. When this country was young, had us in slavery, and then all them evil atrocities that was all the way up until now, his bones are filled with them. I Meaning they can't get away from the, what they done done. They can't get away from it, man. His bones are full of it, even though they want to try to restore some goods, even though they're trying to seek to please the poor. It ain't really doing it. If America wanted to, it wouldn't be no homeless in America. Nobody living poor. We no drug, no guns in the land if they really wanted to. Go ahead. Now, drop that. Was that in the verse 11? I want to make sure I get all wow. that scripture. Keep on reading. We shall lie down with him in the dust. We shall lie. Listen, you know what that's talking about? That's talking about all you so-called leaders that love Esau, that's down with Esau, that's down with the beast. All you false leaders and false prophets that's down with the beast. Go lie down in the dust with him. Now, Give me Isaiah 9 and 16. Oh, you God. leaders that's causing us to make an error. Talking about you. You understand? Go ahead. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 16. Mm -hmm. For the leaders of this people caused them to err. Our black leaders, man. Leaders for black people, Hispanic Native Indians, you making an error. We understand that? By laying down with a so-called white man. You making an error by having them young brothers go up in and beg her, please show us what to do. You got to be out of your mind. Are you serious, man? Our leaders have called us an error. Go ahead. And they that are led of them are destroyed. And the ones who are following them are destroyed. Which is why you saw in a protest in Minnesota them getting shot. They see the weakness. They smell the, the, the bitch made on you. They smell it. You understand that? And they took advantage of it. Took advantage of it, man. You understand that? Now, with that being said, brother, give me Micah 3 verse 11. Here's the reason why. Here's the reason why. Because them leaders, they want the money that come to getting down with America. They want that money that come get down with them. That's all they want, man. Everybody who talked that pro-black radical stuff, all of them got paid off with money with some sort of position of power in East South society. All of them. All of them. From the Black Panthers, from the Civil Rights Movement to the Black Panthers right up to right now. All of them got paid off with some sort of position of power or money from Esau. Read that out. Michael, chapter 3, verse 11. Mm -hmm. The heads thereof, judge for reward. Say it again. The heads thereof, judge for reward. Who are the head? They are leaders, man. Whether you political, whether you religious, Christianity, Islam, you the leaders of the people, man. Guide them in the right way. No, not y'all, man. Y'all doing things. 
for a monetary gain. You understand that? For a monetary gain. Go ahead. Eleven. That's all right. And the priests thereof teach for hire. They teaching things just so they get paid for me, Saul, man. Telling you to go beg them to, for them to show you what to do. Now they tell you what to do. Just lay right down so I can shoot you. Lay down so I can run all over in the streets. You understand? Like you laid the body as the ground. Like the Bible says in the book of Isaiah 51. Any more than that? Kind of come. Go ahead. And the prophets thereof divide for money. They teach it for money, man. That's what's going on out here. That's your leaders. For money. For monetary gain, you're being sold out. You understand that? For monetary gain. Now give me Isaiah 31, verses 1. We'll take it down to the end of verse 3. Now that we're going to take a quick break. And after this here, man, I got to do it again, man. I got to show you who Esau is, show you the violence that Esau has been doing to us from then to now. I'm sorry, brother. No, Isaiah 31. Yes. Verse 1 to the end of verse 3. And a future prophecy of Esau, especially here in America. Read out. Isaiah 31 and 1. Go ahead. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Say it again. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Woe, meaning destruction. This place here called America is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Sodom, you know what Sodom is for? All the nasty homosexual sex that was going on in Sodom. Same thing here in America. Egypt, why? Egypt had us in slavery. Like America got us in slavery, man. Spiritually called. So it's talking about America. Read. And in horse. Go ahead. Because they are very strong. You trusting them because they got a big military might. Go ahead. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel. Instead of looking to the most high power and trusting the words that come from the Bible. You trust the man because his military might, his greatness he's serving the earth. Go ahead. Neither seek the most high. They don't even want to look for the Lord, man. Go ahead. Yet he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words. You understand? Go ahead. But will arise again the house of the evildoers mm -hmm. and against the help of them that work in equity. You understand that, man? Go ahead. Now, the Egyptians are men. They what? Are men. Go ahead. And not God. They ain't the most high power, man. You understand that? That's why when you see his teaching, you see his blazing. We don't stop when the police come and arrive. We don't stop. We keep on teaching. You understand that? When they take us to their court system, we go up in every battle, we fight. And you see us in the ICBK win every time. Why? The Lord is on our side, man. We put our trust in the Lord. We got his spirit of warfare, man. The Bible says we go against governments and nations. A different language. We go against all those things, man. And we get a victory. Because the Lord is on our side, man. Because this is the house the most I chose. Read. And their horses, flesh, mm -hmm. and not spirit. Mm -hmm. When the most high shall stretch out his hand, mm -hmm. both he that helpeth shall fall. And he that helpeth, meaning the ones who trying to say, we're going to help you. We got this program for you, that program for you. Y'all trust in Barack Obama. Y'all put your help and hope in Barack Obama. He ain't done nothing for us, man. The hell he done for us. At the end of his so-called presidency, now he will speak out on certain things. You out to your mind. We've been getting killed, man. The city where he's from, all the death and murder men in that city, man. Are you serious, really? The one who helped us and said hope, he gonna fail. Go ahead. And he that is hoping shall fall down. And he that is meaning the ones who put their hope in what they say. That's you, black man, Hispanic Native Indians. Y'all put your hope in a land called America and they military might and they police force and the things they say. And it has failed us. And will continue to fail us because we put the hope in the Lord, man. Both he that help and he that hoping, both of y'all shall fail, which is what's going on today in America. When you walk out your door and you see what's going on with us, that's the failure in us, man. 
because we don't take our time to turn to the most high power. The how in the Hebrew. We don't take our time to do what the Lord say do, man. To put our faith and trust in what the Lord said put our faith and trust in, man. His words, your records, your history, your heritage. You understand? Let me tell you something, man. We got a memorial coming up. December 5th. And it's the Feast of Dedication, Hakanaka. Now, Hakanaka is about brothers rising up in warfare against the army that Alexander the Great left in our land. And it's about us getting back our temple. They did warfare against that army, guerrilla warfare. And guess what they did? We got back our temple. You understand? But it's the Feast of Dedication, the Feast of Lights, Hakanaka in the Hebrew. But guess what? The Lord don't want us to fight physically. We ain't got to do that right now. All we got to do is take our spirits out of America. You understand that? And this is a spiritual warfare, not a carnal. We ain't telling you to go pick up no guns to fight. No. <clears throat> but take your spirit out of America is what the Lord requires. I can't even do that. This fool on TV, this young brother who was soft as cotton candy, going to have his hands closed and say, Hillary Clinton, please tell us what we got to do. Are you serious, man? Both he that helped and he that hope in that help, both shall fail. Now you see the results. A year before that, brother got gunned down 16 times in the city of Chicago. He showed you the clip early. Last week, they had a peaceful protest and get shot up by Esau. For he that helped and he that hoping, both of them shall fail. Read again from the top, that verse 3. Verse 3, now the Egyptians are men mm -hmm. and not God Go ahead. and their horses. Flesh mm -hmm. and not spirit. Go ahead. When the Lord shall stretch out his hand, mm -hmm. both he that helpeth shall fall, mm -hmm. and he that is hoping shall fall down, mm -hmm. and they all shall fall together. He tell you something. You better take your spirit out of America. We get it close, y'all. We get it close going to the prophecies of the Lord of the return of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. You better get it right. And take your spirit out of this place, man. When we come back from break, we take a quick break. We come back from break, y'all. Excuse me. We are going to talk about who Esau is, the history of how he's been killing us, and his future prophecy of death and destruction that he deserves for the evil he has done to us. Be right back, y'all, live. Let the evil speak. that I got a baby in my arms while I'm doing this. <laughs> Little Zahar, man, won't be quiet, but check it out, yo. Yo. Playing spades, reminiscing on days before niggas started shooting, we would still catch fades. It's like the world's a lot scarier since crack and AIDS. And the only thing that we became is rats in the maze. Cause all my brother cares about is trapping in jays. Minds fucked up from the pills and the haze. Said we hard-headed, stuck in our ways So I've been praying to the most high that it's just a phase, yup Hardly surprised and always amazed Especially at what's been getting radio plays, yo I wanna be the cataclysm of a cataclysm Bomb atomically and take it back to lyricism But you know nowadays, it seems like it's forbidden Anybody in the industry knows they ain't fucking with them And anyone on sign, they wanna be outshine So I guess it's just me, myself, and all these empty lines I never knew that being nice would get you penalized once you blowing up, they wanna know your penis size Hoes all staring, saying you got dreamy eyes And if you ain't fake, they wanna see you demonized If they be dropping gems, then this flow is El Dorado A midnight marauder, young desperado With a bravado, that's a hard act to follow Make your favorite rapper look like amateurs at the Apollo <laughs> Yo, and that's a hard pill to swallow Me and my vato steady painting pictures like Picasso Feds trying to clock us like Pablo and Gustavo Go and tell, go and tell straight to the Gestapo Hola muchacho, yo hablo espanol El hombre blanco es el diablo <laughs> Now I'm going over 
over heads like a poncho Trying to stack chips with more cheese than some nachos Why you acting macho? Your whole clique is got though They ain't want beef, but I'll feel it like a taco Yo, don't get it twisted like a Rasta Don't be bringing none of that bullshit into me casa You ain't seen this much crack since the Contras Billy, you're the beast, we all live inside a monster That's why I be thanking God I'm alive Tapping into different vibes, penning more than a scribe Every verse an open letter sent to all the tribes Lost in the ghetto, steady struggling to survive, yo The things I seen with a pair of eyes Got me out here living in this life desensitized Part of the reason that I'm hardly if ever surprised I've heard the screams of brothers and seen mothers that cried Seen a soul leave a body right before he died 23 years old, gunned down before his prime While your favorite rapper only talking dollar signs But when our people in trouble, they quiet as a mime Every day is the struggle, I speak it through these lines That's how I know they can't relate, I speak their daily lives I'm representing for my nation or the lost tribes All my people that been locked up ain't see 25 Cause being born a minority was their first crime They serve and protect, choking your neck, sever your spine They murder one of us, no guilty verdict when they try They wonder why they get no respect and we call them swine Live in a time where you lose your life and become a vine Friends turn to t-shirts, corners turn to shrines And if our leader ain't a Pharisee then he's a scribe Cause he ain't coming out unless he thinks he can scrape a dime Get his name in the paper, face in the line The world's black and white and you better pick a side If I wasn't strong enough then I would break inside But I found the truth right before I lost my mind Sorry mama, I promised it wouldn't change me But I would've went insane had I remained the same me And I know you feel the same way if they slay me So when I say the white man is the devil, don't blame me I'm not here to make friends, kiss baby, shake hands for politics Yo, what's affecting all the college kids? I mean, why did the students shoot up the colleges? Newborns found the shopping bags and garbages All these problems that nobody acknowledges Promise you one thing, you gon' acknowledge this like that. We are two different nations, even though we brothers. Out of ignorance, brothers pull a script and say, well, Esau, your brother. You should have not supposed to hate your brother. But that man has done things against us that the Lord said for us to now hate him. You understand? And the evil is going to happen to him because of what he's done to us. In specific, the Bible says that. You understand that? In specific, it says that. Now, with that being said, we're going to get Genesis 25 and um, 21. You understand? Also, Kai, if you can find that thing about the Geico commercial, I'll read for a while. You got it? Where's that? Where he at? Oh, man, you got it. I'm with Cave. I'm going to go back. So right here where it says Cave, man. That's the one I want right there. So both of them talking, all right? And we're going to pull it up in one second, all right? That's the one I want, all right, brother? <laughs> this is 25 and 21. Read. This is chapter 25, verse 21. Go ahead. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife. Go ahead. Because she was married. And the Most High was entreated of him. And Rebecca, his wife, conceived. Mm -hmm. And the children struggled together within her. Mm -hmm. And he said, if it be so, why am I thus? She said, why is this happening, man? Because she couldn't handle baby. Now she's pregnant. The baby's inside of her fighting. Go ahead. Middle of 22. And she went to be like and she went to inquire of the Lord. Go ahead. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. Two different people, two different races. Go ahead. And two manner of people. When it says two manner, meaning two different mannerisms. You understand? Two different ways they act, they act different. Two different characteristics. Go ahead. Shall be separated from thy bow. Go ahead. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. The one people gonna be stronger than the other people, man. You understand that? That let you know what's going on there. Naturally, Esau is not stronger than us. That's why he make those bags on steroids, those hormone pills to make himself physically strong. But naturally, he ain't that. Go ahead. And the elder. And the elder shall serve the younger. The oldest one going to serve the youngest one. Remember that one right there. Remember that. That's going to be key for all the people who say, well, Jacob stole it. He was a thief. 
He wasn't no thief. It was always meant to be that way. He was with a Bible, that's all. Go ahead. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. Go ahead. And the first came out red all over like a hairy god. Say it again, red what? All over like a hairy god. Now stop. Where the picture of the guy go from show? Go to it. Let's go to the Geico real quick, y'all. Let's go to the Geico commercial and pull up the Cave Twins. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's pull up the Cave Twins and show you that even Esau knows the truth. Let's pull up the Cave Twins, man. Where they at? Go ahead, play. Now, this Esau, without using that razor, the big push, the Gillette. But I'm shaving. Go ahead. Remember, it said red and hairy all over, like a garment. Here we go. Don't worry about taking time to get to a lot. That's all right. That's all right. Go back some. Seriously, we apologize. We had no idea you guys were still around. Yeah, Stop. next time maybe do a little research. Stop. He said, do a little research. <laughs> Let us know so you can find out who we truly are. He said, do a little research, man. But well, we done done the research in the ISUBK. And we done found out the so-called white man is Esau. That's right. And without shaving, he gets hairy all over like a garment, like you see right here, the cave twins. You understand? This is biblical prophecy right here, man. UPK always had it right. Now, keep on reading. Now. And they call his name Esau. Now, that's who he is. That's Esau right there. I saw in the Hebrew, which means wasted away is he. Keep on reading. And after that came his brother out. Mm -hmm. And his hand took hold of Esau's heel. And his name was called Jacob. Now, this is Jacob coming out. Why he grabbed his heel? Remember, they were struggling inside of the womb all the way up until they came out. Go ahead. And Isaac was three score years old when she bared them. Go ahead. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter. Now, here are the mannerisms of Esau. A cunning hunter. Mean what? He likes to hunt. He's in the field hunting all day long, man. I.e., the field and stream magazines. Who are in the woods all across the earth hunting? Nobody but the so called white man. You understand that? He's the one who hunts all the time. Go ahead. A man of the field. And Jacob was a plain man. When it says a man of the field, I mean, he's always in the woods somewhere. Hunting, stalking. You understand that? And said Jacob was a plain man. Why? Because he do what brothers like to do. Chill. He's playing like to chill. Fall back and relax, man. That's what you call falling back and relaxing. Go ahead. Dwelling in tents. Go ahead. And Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison. That deer meat he went out there and killed. Let me tell you something. You know how hard it is to hunt deer? Like, that's hard. Huh? That's hard. You got to be quiet and still in the woods. Set up a day or two before where you know they're going to be at and sit there and don't say, make no word. Esau's so good and clever. They got piss out there that smell like deer piss. They spread on themselves. The man stays sick from the dag on deer. So Esau was doing this back then, man, hunting deer down. A man of the field, like they say. A cunning hunter, man. You know about that. He hunt us down no matter where we are. They found us over here in America. They found us on the west coast of Africa. You got child support, you got warrants, they run from them, they find you. He a cunning hunter, man. That's who, that's his mannerism, that's his characteristics. Go ahead. And Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison. Mm -hmm. And Rebekah loved Jacob. Go ahead. And Jacob saw pottage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. I mean, the side pollard, that's meat and boys, that's meat and beans uh, cooking. You understand? That's what side pollard, that's the meat and beans cooking. He cooking. You understand that? He cooking. He came from the field because he was hunting all the damn time. That's why he was frank. He was out there about to ready to pass out. They teach you that in military skills. Somebody say the white man. When you go into Esau's military, they teach you these things. You understand? That's what they teach you. 
Go ahead. I pray thee, Salakia. And Esau said unto Jacob, Feed me. I pray. I pray thee with that same red pottage, for I am faith. Therefore was his name called Edom. Why did it say red pottage? Why? Because the meat inside that Esau was, I mean, that Jacob was cooking wasn't all the way done. They still had blood inside of it. That's why I said that red pot, because he was still cooking it. The blood ain't going nowhere yet. It still was in there. He said, still give it to me, man. Still give me that meat. You understand that? Still give it to me. That side pot. Hold that. Hold what you got. Hebrews 12 and 16, real fast. Oh, okay. Hebrews 12 and 16, real fast. Give me that. Let me catch up with you. There you go, God. Go ahead, boy, we get down. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16. Mm -hmm. Lest there be any fornicator. Any fornicator, go ahead. Or profane person. Mm -hmm. As Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. This is what the Lord is saying about Esau, man. This man sold his birthright for a morsel of meat. Because he was hungry. Your birthright is something you die for. You don't give it up for no dad because you're hungry. Supposed to go to get death for your damn birthright, man. You understand? Now let's go back to Genesis 25 real fast. Matter of fact, I'm gonna read something for you. All right? Um, go back to Genesis 25 real quick, bro. 25. Who's that? Verse 30. Come on with a word. Did the caveman say he want a bloody steak in the video? That I don't remember. You want to see? Let's see if he says that, man. Let's see if he says that. Let's see if he says that, man. Gentlemen, are we ready to order? I have the roast duck with the mango salsa. I don't have much of an appetite, thank you. Oh, you don't say too much of it? All right, no sweat. But we all know he like, he like his meat red. He like <laughs> the steak tartare. You understand? He like his meat red. Now, with that being said, let's go back and read verse 30 one more time. Genesis chapter 25, mm -hmm. verse 30. Mm -hmm. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, mm -hmm. with that same red pottage. For I am faint, therefore was his name called Edom. Now, we're going into the Zonovan Pictorial Bible Dictionary here, right? Page 233, we're going to read about Edom. It says, Edom, Edom, red, the nation and his people, who were the descendants of Esau. Meaning, this is a people here. Do you understand? A nation. Who are they? Every so-called white man on the earth comes from Esau. Every one. Do you understand? Every one. Now, he was sold his birthright. This is who he is. Now, give me Genesis 27. Well, Genesis 27, go to verse 40. This is ch chapter 27, verse 40. Come on. And by the sword shalt thou live. And by the what? The sword shalt thou live. By the what? The sword shalt thou live. By the sword shalt he live. Man, meaning what? He's going to live by the sword. But it's why you see him killing everywhere he go. Right. That's the prophecy of the white man. You will tell me this Esau ain't the white man? Are you out your damn mind? Biblical prophecy states who he is, man. By the sword shalt thou live. Go ahead. And shall serve thy brother. Ain't going to serve his brother. Why? Why is he going to serve his brother? Go back to verse 30, 37 in the same chapter. Go right to 37. Read. And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Mm -hmm. Behold, I have made him thy lord. He had made what? I have made him thy lord. He told Esau he made Jacob his lord. You understand? Now you may say, well, he tricked him. He did something, something, something. But that is a lie. And for you Christians who don't want to believe in the Old Testament about how it happened, go to the book of Romans, the ninth chapter. Yeah. We will hit you with the book of Romans. You understand? On how it happened. Give me Romans 9, brother. 
Give me Romans 9. And we're going to start at eleven. Romans chapter nine, verse eleven. Come on. For the children being not yet born. I mean, these are the twins inside of her womb. They weren't born yet. Go ahead. Neither have they done any good or evil. Done ain't did nothing wrong yet. Go ahead. That the purpose of the most high, according to the election, might stand. Go ahead. Not of works, but of him that called it. I mean, it was the most high's call. He chose us and didn't choose them. He chose Jacob and his 12 sons, which are the 12 tribes, who are the black, Hispanic, Native Indians, and didn't choose the so-called white man. He didn't choose them. Go ahead. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. So when it says in Genesis 27 and 37, when Jacob, when uh, Jacob, um, I'm sorry, when Isaac told Esau, I have made him thy Lord. This is the reason why. You done read the reason why now. Go ahead. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. But Esau have I hated. That's come from the Lord, man. That comes straight from the Most High. You understand that? Now, give me the book of Obadiah. Let's jump right into the history of Esau and why he did what he did, man. Jump right into it, man. Why the Lord said what he said about Esau? You know what I'm saying? You understand? You understand? Obadiah 1. Uh, let's see. We're going to start in Obadiah. Let me see. Hold on, brother. Let me get there with you. Mm -hmm. Start in verse 10. Let me get there, brother. Obadiah, verse 10. Obadiah, verse 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob. For thy what? Violence against thy brother Jacob. For the evil that you have done to us, man. I mean, you go back in the book of Deuteronomy. Amalek, who was the so-called Jew, did a horrible thing against us, man. And the Lord would have been just what he did to us. And because Saul didn't follow orders from the Lord, he lost the kingdom because of that. But the Lord said, go back and smite all uh, Amalek. Leave none alive, including these sheep and cattle. He spared the king's life and spared the best of the cattle, not follow the direction of the Lord, man. You understand me? That's what happened. He's always unbalanced to us, man. He cheered when Babylon came and sacked Jerusalem. He showed them a secret way to Jerusalem and checked the record. He get what he deserved, man. He has earned his place of instruction and future prophecy, man. You understand? He has earned that. Now, keep on reading, brother. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, mm -hmm. and thou shalt be cut off forever. Forever shall he be cut off. Now I go to the book of Ezekiel. The 25th chapter, verses 12 through 14. Let's get some more on Esau, man. Let's get some more on him, man, on what he has done to us and his future. And Esau's future. Go ahead. 25 and 12. Bro. Come, come. Ezekiel chapter 25, verse 12. Thus saith the most high power, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah. By taking vengeance. I Meaning he does some evil to us and took vengeance against us, man. Go ahead. And has greatly offended and mm -hmm. revenged himself upon them. Go ahead. Therefore, thus saith the most high power, mm -hmm. I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom. Upon Edom, he's gonna stretch out his hand, man. Because of all the things that he had done to us, the Lord will stretch his hand out against them, man. Go ahead. And from and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from teeming. Make it what? Desolate from teeming. You know what I mean to be desolate? Destroyed. Nothing's here no more. That's the future prophecy of the land called America. 
Babylonic, right? Go ahead. And they of the day shall fall by the sword. Go ahead. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. Mm -hmm. And they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the most high power. This, this part here ain't gonna happen when your house shall be served and turn the second time. You understand that? This is when this happens. When that sky get dark with 200 million black angels, and your house shall come down here and destroy America and take us up in them chariots, you're gonna gather together in the wilderness. You're gonna come together. And then the Lord gonna let us loose from the rest of us on the earth, man. You understand that? But it does not happen. Doesn't happen until so Christ returns the second time. You understand? The second time. Now, let's get some more of the history of what you have done to us as a people, man. Give me the book of Psalms, 137. Let's go to it, man. The book of Psalms, chapter 137. <clears throat> Start at verse 7. One thirty-seven. Oh, yep, verse seven, brother. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Remember, O oh Lord, the children of Edom. Say it again. Remember, O oh Lord, the children of Edom. You understand? The Lord said, "This is this is David saying, Lord, remember them. Remember what they have done to us." Go ahead. In the day of Jerusalem. In the day of what? In the day of Jerusalem. Go ahead. Who said, "Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof." You see that, right? But they said, raise it, raise it. They're like, cheering again, destroy it, destroy it. This during the time when we got conquered by the, uh, the Babylonians. And they in the background going, yeah, yeah, destroy him, destroy him. They cheering our death and destruction on, but they should not have done it. And because of that, read. That's a lot. O daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed. O daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed. Go ahead. Happy shall he be. Happy shall he be. Go ahead. That rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Go ahead. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stone. Happy shall it be when it happened that day for what you've done to us, man. Like you got payback for what you did to us, man. You understand? Like all the evil you have done to us, you won't be paid back for that. It's only right. Now, give me the book of Isaiah. I mean, give me the book of Isaiah now. I think I want Isaiah 14. Hold on one second. Let me catch up with you. Let me see. Isaiah 14. Hold on. Let's read it. Isaiah 14. Yes, sir. Start at verse 21. Isaiah 14, 21 to 20, 23. Isaiah chapter 20, chapter 14, verse 23. No, start at 21. I'm sorry. Come, we'll come. Verse 21. Go ahead. Prepare slaughter for his children. Say it again. Prepare slaughter for his children. Whose children? I'm talking about the children of the so called white Esau. Prepare slaughter for them. Go ahead. For the iniquity of their fathers. Go ahead. That they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. Yeah, for what your forefathers did, man. Lord said, prepare slaughter. I don't care if you holler about why well, I ain't had them slaves, my forefathers had them. You still benefiting off of what your forefathers did and still pushing that same philosophy of death and murder amongst us. So, yeah, you're going to pay for it. You're going to pay for what happened. Go ahead. For I will rise up against them, saith the Most High of hosts, mm -hmm. and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son. And nephew said the most high. You understand it. You know what that means, right? That's something about being cut off totally from the earth, man. Well, you won't be able to have no more babies. This is a future prophecy that there will be no more Edomites on the earth ever again. That's the future prophecy. We're going to read it for you, too. Read. I will also make it a possession for the bittern and pools of water, and I will sweep it with the, the besom of destruction, mm -hmm. said the most high of hosts. Go ahead, next verse. And the Lord of hosts has sworn, saying, Surely, as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. Now go to 13, verse 19, Isaiah. 
and Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees, excellency shall be as the God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Meaning the beauty of the Chaldean Empire, the excellency of Babylon the Great, will be like when the most I overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. He rained down fire from the sky. When Christ come back here, he gonna wage war against his land. The global thermonuclear warfare and burn it up. And this is how it's gonna be. Go ahead. It shall never be in heaven, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. You see that, man? Meaning it ain't gonna never be heaven no more here in this land. When you brought nuclear waste in the land, you can't live there no more. The land is destroyed. That's what's gonna happen to a land called America. And it's gonna happen to Christ and 200 million black angels. Arab's not gonna do it, but Christ's gonna do it. He gonna succeed. The fall of Esau is saved for Yahweh Shah and 200 million black angels. The fall of Babylon the Great is reserved for him. Keep on reading. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there. Go ahead. Neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. Go ahead. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there. Mm -hmm. And their houses shall be full of doleful creatures. Mm -hmm. And owls shall dwell there. And satyrs and satyrs shall dance there. Go ahead. And the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate houses. Mm -hmm. And dragons in their pleasant palaces. And her time is near to come. And her days shall not be prolonged. And this is how it's going to go to the book of Revelations. This is how it's going to happen, man. Revelations 19. This is how it's going to happen. 19 verse 11. Revelations 19 and 11. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white voice. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. Mm -hmm. And in righteousness, he doth judge and make war. I mean, it's the right thing when Christ comes here and make war. You understand that? It's right for all the death and murder y'all giving the 12 tribes and nation of Israel. Blacks, Hispanic, Native Indians, man. Y'all done spoiled, robbed, murdered, and just got over on us for a very long time. But Yahweh is going to stop. So it's right when he comes. Judgment been set. Now it's time to take your punishment, man. And righteousness is going to happen. When he come here and make war. Ain't going to be a beautiful day when Christ returns. They ain't going to be sitting kumbaya a car and dancing in the streets. Oh, Everybody hold their hands. No, man. They had it partly right in a movie called Independence Day. Except for you ain't going to be able to defeat Christ and our angels. <laughs> Go ahead. Keep on reading. His eyes were as a flame of fire, mm -hmm. and on his head were many crowns. Mm -hmm. And he had a name written that no man knew but himself. Meaning he had a name written, meaning he had works he had written nobody knew but himself. Right. Don't get simple. We do know the name of the Lord. Yahweh Shah in the Hebrew. Go ahead. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. Why? From all the killing he's going to do. You know how much killing you got to do to have your vesture dipped in blood? That's a lot of killing. Go ahead. And his name is so like it. And his and his name is called the Word of the Most High. Go ahead. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, mm -hmm. clothed in fine linen, white and clean. Mm -hmm. And out of his mouth goes a sharp sword. Hold on, brother. He said the armies. We did what? Christ got an army following him, man. You understand that? When he come, he got an army with him, and they gonna wreak havoc on this earth. They're going to come get it. You understand? They're going to take these crowns in the name of Yahweh Shah. They're going to bring forth destruction in the name of Yahweh Shah, who's working for the Most High. His army going to follow him, man. And he leading the way. Like Christ ain't like your punk leaders you got today. They sit in the background and give orders. No, Christ going to be in the forefront, man. That's why his vessel going to be dipped in blood. He going to lead the charge. Go ahead. And out of his mouth goes a sharp sword Go ahead. that with it he should smite the nations. Mm -hmm. and he should rule them with a rod of iron. Mm -hmm. And he treadeth the wide press of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. Now you see that, right? The fierceness and wrath of his father, Yahweh in the Hebrew. 
is when he come. Now, for time's sake, I drop down. Hold on. Nineteen, nineteen and twenty. Verse nineteen. And I saw the beasts and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. Because over there, and the body of has a set. They want all this is gonna be not to have no war. And when Christ come, they are gonna stop fighting each other and turn to try to fight Christ. They are gonna try. Go ahead. And with him, the false prophet that wrought miracles before him. Read 20 again from the top. Salam, you sir. Salam, sir. And I saw the beasts and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. Go ahead. And the beast was taken. And the beast was taken. The so called white man was taken. Go ahead. And Salam. And with him, the false prophet. The what? The false prophet. You so-called Christian pastors. You so-called Christian Israelites. All of y'all are false prophets, man. You understand that? You better see what's going to happen to you at the end times, man. You better come back, get down the most high power, and get down from your daddy, your father's house. That's the ISUPK, where you learned from. All y'all preach that moves back to here. May get it right. If you better get it right. The false prophets, man. Read. With which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast. They deceived them that had the mark of the beast, man. That philosophy of Christianity inside their brain. You understand? That you use your hand to kill for. Go ahead. And them that worship his image. And you worship in the image to see the boy G. The so-called white man. And that Christianity. Same thing in Islam. Y'all recognize Christ too. The way it's taught in the Catholic and Christian church. You understand? Go ahead. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire, burning with brimstone. That lake of fire is going to be America. Burning with brimstone, man. You understand? That's going to be the lake of fire. Now, that being said, give me the book of... Uh, Job. Oh, God. Give me the book of Job, brother. I'm on Job, the 20th chapter, I believe. Uh, when it says that they don't see him, not going to see him no more. Talk about Esau. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Start at verse. Start at verse 6. But before you go to verse 6, brother, I want to read this. Job 20 and 6. Oh, we'll read down to the 6 through 9. Oh, but before you read that, brother, I'm going to read this real quick. All right? Now, in a book called uh, The Zalaman Pictorial Bible Dictionary, right? Page 234. Now, what I'm going to read to you is what scholars, even my scholars, are put together on the prophecy of their own selves. Now, some of them don't know the Esau. Some do. But this is the prophecy. They did did some research on the Bible and found out that Esau, because of all the evil things they did, not going to have no hope in the future. Lord, they going to have no mercy on them. This is what they said out of their own mouth and the book they put together. They put this book together. Now, here we go. Zonovan Pictorial Bible Dictionary, page 234. All right? Edom figures prominently in the prophetic scriptures as the scene of great future judgment. She is the only neighbor of the Israelites, you know they was right next to us in the land, you understand, know who was not given any promise of mercy from the Most High, meaning they ain't get no promise of mercy, man. They gonna pay for what they did to us, and they gonna pay horribly. And in the very end, they're going to be wiped off the face of the earth. Right. Give me Job, the 20th chapter, verse 6 through 9. Job, chapter 26. Though his excellency, sorry, though his excellency 
mount up to the heavens, mm -hmm. and his head reach unto the clouds. Mm -hmm. Yet he shall perish forever. He shall what, brother? He shall perish forever. I mean, he ain't gonna be here no more on the earth. Go ahead. Like his own dumb. Like his own doo doo. Go ahead. You know, a doo doo be put nervous in a waste no way. That's the future of Esau. Go ahead. They which have seen him shall say, "Where is he?" They gonna say, "Where he at?" Go ahead. He shall fly away as a dream, mm -hmm. and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. Go ahead. The okay. eye also which saw him shall see him no more, mm -hmm. neither shall his place any more behold him. You see that, right? Also, too, one thing I forgot to bring out, before this happened, they're going to get conquered on earth, and they're going to be like a, a sideshow attraction, putting slavery for a period of time. And then Job 26 to 9 is going to happen. But they'll be wiped off the face of the earth, man. And that's the future prophecy for, them for what they have done to us. You understand that? That's only right for what they have done. They deserve what God coming to them, man. Listen, this is the Israelite School of UPK, man. Live with UPK Radio, man. We'll see you all next week. Check out Officer Adonai on his next show. Coming up, we got a guest coming live on the show, man. They will talk about relationships, man. Check it out live on the UPK. Show up. That's the truth. truth.